learners. In this lesson, in the last lesson, we were talking about occupation. And in different occupation, we, uh, we use different machines that help us to make work easier. And these machines, they have developed and they are continuing to develop. And this one, we call them technology. The development of technology has helped us to be able to teach today. If there was no technology, we could not be able to have a lesson today. But because of technology, you are, we, are, we are here and if you're at home, you're able to get your lesson thanks to technology. Long time ago, some of us, our age and maybe beyond, we found things like some radios that are here. The radio that you have at home might not be the same that we used to have. Long time ago, we used to have radios that were made of wood. I don't know whether some of us can remember uh, parents. But uh, pupils, you, I don't think you found those kind of things. Long time ago, we used to write letters. Nowadays, we don't write letters. I have a, a letter here that you would send, you would write with a pen, and then put a stamp. I have a stamp here. You put it in an envelope, then you put a stamp, and then you take it to the mailbox. I have a mailbox here. Nowadays, we don't hear people talking about post office. We don't hear people talking about uh, writing letters. And these letters, when you write them, they will take may, like two weeks to go to the person that you're writing to. And then the person again writes and replies to you, and again, it takes two weeks. It would take a lot of time. But because of technology, we developed to something called email, Email, you write a big letter uh, to somebody that you need to communicate with. And now, after email, we have now things like short messages that we just send them uh, using the phone. And that is what I have here. This is modern technology. This is modern technology. We have phones. We have digital cameras. We have... Uh, thing, we, long time ago, we used to have files, but nowadays we don't use files. We use things like these can flash this to be able to store our information. This means with technology, life has become easier. Technology helps us to spend less time, and again, it helps us to spend less money. That means it helps us to utilize what we have without spending so much. Are we together, pupils? So we are talking about technology. Technology, it helps us to, to do work. Like, for example, a doctor. A doctor has different things that he uses to be able to uh, check whether you're sick. With the, with the things that we have now, with the coronavirus, the pandemic that is on right now, when we were beginning, when the, the ministry, uh, the, minist the CS, the cabinet secretary, was telling us that they are testing, they would be able to test maybe 30 people at most. But now, because of technology, they are able to test even 1,500 because there are different things that help us. The technology is advanced. Now we are able to test more people. Now with the technology, we are able to do, to work better, we are able to do work easier, and you enjoy doing your work. So with technology, you are able to know what things do you like doing? Do you like uh, fixing computers, do you like uh, cooking? And so when you know what you would want to be, when you grow up, you start training yourself 
to use the equipment that are being used in the profession that you would want to be. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a teacher. And because of that, I, my teacher was always telling me, you have to write with good handwriting. I didn't know. If I had a bad handwriting, I wouldn't be able to, to write well on the blackboard. And because of that, I used to teach myself how to talk in front of people. I didn't know that I would be, it would come true. And because of that, I am a teacher today. Remember, we are looking at occupation and technology. What do you want to be when you grow up? And what things will you be using in your, in your profession? So get involved in the things that you want, you'd want to be and use the technology available. Technology is good, but at the same time, if you don't take care of it, it is bad. Let us use technology the right way. Let us learn to not to get involved with technology in the wrong way. Some people use computers, others use their parents' smartphones to get into sites that are not good. Use technology to help you be a better person, not to be a bad person. And as you grow up, you realize that not everything that is on the internet is good. So teach yourself to be responsible to use internet and technology as it is supposed to be used. Given below, you will find an activity, do the exercise, and we'll be able to progress on well. Thank you.